Hello everyone, how are we all? Welcome back to my channel and to a long overdue sit down chatty video slash haul of some things that I've bought recently and I actually haven't filmed one of these videos in the longest time and I enjoy them. I just like a little sit down and a chat so I hope you are in the mood for that. I feel like the last time I filmed one of these was well over a year ago where I just sit and I say Hello. I feel like I'm usually running around in my vlog, so it's quite nice to just sit, chill, and say hello. And yeah, I just really enjoy watching these videos myself because you can just sit and relax and just pop them on in the background if you're like cleaning or doing whatever. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you some bits that I bought from IKEA Home Sense and Home Bargains, show you them styled in our home, and just have a bit of a catch up. So that's what this video is. So how are we all doing? How is everyone feeling? It's February, mid-February while I'm filming this. And it feels like February is going so quick in comparison to January. I feel like January was a very, very long month. Whereas February doesn't feel like that at all. So yeah, it's very interesting how your mind plays the months out. But January always feels long. But I quite enjoy January sometimes. Um, but I quite enjoy a January reset. And some of the bits that I've bought are kind of like... It's like a spring introduction of just new things into the home, getting organised and just getting ready for the year. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling positive. I really want the weather to improve. <laughs> when I'm filming this, I've currently got my big ring light on behind you because it is so dark and gloomy in London and there is talk of snow and storm, so I'm not in the mood for that. But aside from that, I'm doing all right. So I thought I'd show you everything. So we recently did a trip to Ikea and home sense if you missed that vlog i'll link it up top and i said that i would show you the bits and bobs that i got so let's start with ikea now ikea was very dull <laughs> but whenever you do an ikea trip i feel like you go for one thing and you either stick to that or you come away with everything we mainly went to plan for the makeover in the office and in my bedroom for the pax wardrobes now ewan has pack ward pax wardrobes Everyone online I see speak about them really speaks highly of them So I went to measure up and I think we found the solution that's gonna work for us But I also picked up some bits when I was there So first up is this giant welcome mat. So this is the Sindal welcome mat. This was four pounds Now the reason I bought this is because I left the old one at the flat when we left I was pretty sure I checked everything and I actually left the welcome mat at the front door. So that was a gift that we left to the new tenants. But um, yeah, this is a really big welcome mat. It's 50 by 80 centimeters. So this is actually for the back door and we keep this inside. So it's not particularly thick and it's like a jute hessian material, but it's rubber on the back so it will actually stick and not slide around on our kitchen tiles. And obviously when Maggie's going in and out of the garden now, um, she can just wipe her feet. <laughs> we try and make her sit on the mat and we can give her feet a little wipe so she doesn't tread the mud in. So yeah, for four pounds, it's pretty big. They had some different ones in Ikea, but that one was the one that kind of like stood out the most and it just seemed the most practical for four pounds. I also picked these up in Ikea. These were three pounds and they are 30 striped napkins. Now I do use linen napkins mainly when friends and family are around and want to do something a bit fancy, but for day to day, we either use um, kitchen roll or these, which are, I just thought these were really nice, like the stripes are quite cool. And Ikea napkins are actually really nice, so for photo shoots and things like that, I actually sometimes use these. They had lots of different packs and lots of different varieties, so do check them out. And then these were actually in the sale. So Ikea are doing these new low prices that I mentioned in the vlog, which, is very welcome because if you've been shopping at Ikea for years, I'm sure you've noticed things have slightly crept up. Yeah, they're now reducing the prices, so that is good. I'm um, obviously in line with how expensive <laughs> everything is at the minute. Things like jars and stuff, it's a welcome, it's a welcome price change. These are Corkin jars, and I'll open up to show you. I use these so much in the kitchen. I initially picked up some of the, I think it was Sev, Four stackable ones. I can't even... Oh, you! <laughs> oh, no wonder these were in the sale. Oh, what a fool! Unless that's peel offable. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. I thought I bought jars with smiley faces on, but I think that peels off. It does. Okay. Oh no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I have bought jars with smiley faces on. Oh, you fool! <laughs> 
Do you know what? That's fine. They stay in the spice cupboard. That's okay. <laughs> okay, I think these are in the sale for that reason because, yeah, that wasn't the plan. And I'm going to pop them through the dishwasher. So when I've been, um, I mean, I recently dropped a jar of spice on my laptop when I was trying to find some ginger and the jar smashed on the floor and dented my laptop. It's just not really great. These are gonna be for when I've got excess spices. So if I've got like two tubs of cinnamon and I've used them for a shoot or I've forgot that I've had a spice, essentially for the multiples, I can stack them in here. Now you can't go to Ikea and not get any food. So I picked up these Dummel chocolates. Now I'm gonna try one of these because I've never ever had one and they look really good. Let's try. Mmm. Okay, I really, really didn't want to like them, but they are delicious. I think they might be my new favourite chocolate instead of the um, dime bars. Mmm. Okay, they're really good. I also picked up some shelves in IKEA for the shed. Now I have the receipt because I have the name. They are called the Hillis shelving unit. As it currently stands, I haven't put them up because it has been chucking it down in London, and um, I just haven't had a minute to put them together. But obviously this is past Luke, hoping the future Luke didn't struggle to put them together and they have proven to be useful storage in there. And I think I'm actually going to get a second set because they were £19, but I think they're going to be really useful, especially in just organising the shed a little bit better. Hello. So this is future Luke editing this bit. <laughs> I said I'd show you the shelves in the shed and, well, I haven't done that because I haven't put them up. And I mean, if I want to be honest, the shed really is on its last legs. This is our roof. It's not great. But, here's the shelves. Everything's kind of under tarpaulin at the minute. I really, 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 really need to get a new shed. The roof is just not doing great. But um, yeah, these are the shelves from Ikea and I will put them up and hold myself accountable. They're the metal ones. So I think I'm going to pop them in this corner where the roof is still somewhat intact, although for how long, I don't know. Being in here really makes me feel a bit sick. Ugh, so many spiders. But um, yeah, just to get some of this sorted, I think a new shed is, is imminent. I really do, because yeah, this is not great. But these are the shelves, and I love them. And then last but not least, I picked up a washing basket. <laughs> and now, I don't know how we've gone so long without one of these, but this was four pounds. It's the Blasca washing basket. I can't believe I'm talking about a washing basket. You guys know what they do, but this is actually so handy in terms of like carrying things upstairs and downstairs because I always have like things I need to take up, like my laptop, charger, a book, a water bottle, my glasses, a phone, bits and bobs. You can just pop it all in here and then just carry it up. And it's not flimsy at all, it's really sturdy for four pounds. I was gonna get one of the collapsible ones, but they're like 20. And I'm not spending 20 pounds on a washing basket, so. That is very useful. If you don't want a washing basket, even if you don't live in a house, get one because they're very useful. We then went to Home Bargains. Now, I regularly pop into Home Bargains for all of like my cleaning essentials, but I feel like I haven't done like Home Bargains home shop in quite a while. And I got a few bits and bobs. So the first thing I got is this. So this is Webb's Seeds Herb Garden Eco Seed Starter Kit. Now this was, I think, 2 pounds It was, it was £2.99. And in here you have everything to grow chives, parsley, thyme, basil, and mint. Now, we used to have a mint pot at home and the smell of freshly grown mint, I just absolutely love. Currently got some basil grown in the window and rosemary, but I thought herbs would be a beneficial starter kit and I've never really grown anything from scratch before. Does experience the joy of watching your herbs flourish from seed to plate. So this is everything that's included. So you get your starter kit, your little compost pellets, and your seeds with a growing guide. I will let you know how I get on with this. Again, I haven't started it, but I love that it's fully recyclable as well. And for 2 99 I think that would be a really lovely gift. They didn't just have herb ones as well. They had flower ones too. So I think herbs are a good one if you've got any foodie friends, but the flower ones are beautiful as well. I also picked up this storage basket. This is from the Home Collections in Home Bargains. And... I love this. I really love that it's a bit more malleable. The one I first picked up in Home Bargains was more like structured and robust, whereas I feel like this is a little bit, it's more like natural, it's not as orange. And um, yeah, I'm actually gonna use this for um, storing like, hair products in. Now that I'm actually growing my hair out, you might notice that it is slightly longer on top. Obviously I used to have a buzz cut. I'm growing the buzz cut out. I got a bit bored of it in the end. I mean, it was very good in the sense that 
you didn't have to do anything. You could just get out of bed, shower, and you were good to go. But I got, I kind of miss doing my hair, and I feel like as long as I can keep it off my face, then, um, yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. Oh, obviously, I've just messed it up there already. There we are. The in between stage is really annoying. Anyway, yeah, I've got like a hairdryer out and just some salt spray and that kind of thing, so I can just shot it on this basket. But I'm actually tempted to go back and get another one because, having said I use this up and down the stairs, that's going to be a way under the stairs, whereas I think this out on the stairs, just to put things in at the bottom and a little basket to carry it up and down, might actually be very useful. And this was $3.99, which is so cheap. $4.99, sorry. So I think for a basket this size, they are slightly more expensive in Ikea and Home Sense. So I was very impressed with that. I also picked up these Yankee candles in Home Bargains. And these were 99 pence. So they are the smaller versions. They're only 49 grams per candle. But they smell absolutely amazing. So I've got peppermint pinwheels and holiday hearth. I think they are both so lovely. And I'm going to pop those away. And usually these are really hard to get in home bargains. Especially the Yankee Candle brand ones. So for 99p I thought they'd be good to pop away for next Christmas. Yes I am buying Christmas things in February. What's wrong with me? Now this I am so happy about. So I showed this in my vlog. But this I could not take home. I was so tempted to buy this in H&M. And the fact that Home Bargains do a dupe for nearly 50% of the price, it is so good. So it's a thin, reeded glass vase. And like I say, with this full price in h and I think it's about £18. And this was £4.99, which is brutal. Was it £4.99 or £5.99? Uh, £5.99. I will get the prices right. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice and thin. So I thought it was tulips would be really lovely or some fresh roses. I've actually got some roses that I need to pop in this from an event I went to yesterday. So I've been holding out to film this and then I can show you how I'm styling it. But I just think that is so pretty. It's quite modern, but I think it fits really well in our home. And then last but not least, not particularly exciting at all. Ewan actually was the one who said we should go to Home Bargains because they have real foliage in there now. So they had lavender, willow, um, like some dried... I think you could say it was like wheat, not wheat. Yeah, like wheat, like straw. And then eucalyptus, but it's dried and preserved. So we've actually got some of this in Zara's bedroom and it's lasted for years and it still smells so lovely. But because it's dry, the leaves don't drop, which is so good. And I think I'm gonna pop this in the kitchen. But we do have some fresh eucalyptus to use as well. So it won't be going in this jar. It won't be going in this vase, but we do already have one ready to go. And this, this I remember being two ninety nine. <laughs> this was three ninety nine. <laughs> I'm not going to say the prices now until I check the receipts. Yeah, this was three pound ninety nine. But obviously, um, fresh eucalyptus is usually more expensive. But because this lasts, a particularly good price. And then the last couple of things I got is just a roll on deodorant. This is Old Spice. Now, Old Spice has been going around for years. I prefer to use natural deodorants rather than spray ones. But this is the deep sea ocean breeze scent. And it just smells so like classic. I feel like Old Spice is just such a good like reminiscent scent. Sorry about that. And then just some instant spicy noodles. These were three for, let me check the price. Let me check the price. 129, 135. <laughs> just gonna stop. And um, yeah, three packs for one pound 35. I use these to kind of build in recipes. So I add spring onions to them, pok choy, spinach, an egg, soy sauce, ramen paste. So I kind of like pimp them up a little bit, but they're really good because they're really packed with flavor and they're so delicious. And then last but not least, I went into Home Sense and I actually got a few things in Home Sense, but I was in the market for some more plant pots. Now that things actually grow in this house because we have light, it's so nice because you can actually start buying plant pots. So I saw this one so I saw this one immediately and I just think this is so beautiful. So this was £4.99 but it's got a lovely scalloped edge around it which is so beautiful. And it just reminded me of something you'd see in Italy, like a country cottage. So it's got the rubber feet on the bottom to give it a bit of lift. And I think I'm actually going to pop some fresh herbs in here when my herb pots start to grow. So I really, really like this. It feels very traditional and just lovely. Obviously it's got the detail on the bottom as well. And then I got another plant pot. This one is a glazed one, but it's kind of like an imperfect glaze. So it's got all of the detail on the outside. This one was 11 99 so slightly more expensive, but I'm gonna use this to 
put a peace lily in my mum got me, so she's entrusted me to bring this lily back alive. I'm not entirely convinced I'm going to be able to do it, but I am monitoring it and I'm giving it some water and it does seem to be still doing okay. Just the heads have started to crisp up slightly, but I really love this. I love the colour of it as well. It's like a bluey grey, but then obviously the cracked glaze on top is just so nice. So I'm really, really happy with that. I think it looks very, very cool. Now, Home Sense had a bit of a sale on and I saw this deluxe All Things Kitchen part tin. Now, the reason I got this, I do have quite a few tart tins, but this one is very deep. You can tell by my hand, it's nearly half the depth of my hand. I thought this would be really good for more deep-filled quiches or things like lemon meringue pie, key lime pie, Mississippi mud pie, Bakewell tarts, something where you want a really thick filling, whereas the ones I've got are actually quite thin. Plus, it's got a removable lid as well, so the lid completely pops out, which is always good. It helps it when you are baking things that do have a tendency to stick. And yeah, this was reduced. The original RRP was £14 and I got it for 6 so I thought that was a really good price. I also got some more measuring spoons because mine have started to go a bit rusty. These are ideal measuring spoons. Obviously, this is a really famous brand. Originally £7.50, I got them £3.99 and they've got the metal ring on them as well so they don't all get lost in your drawer. But the reason I like these is because the handle is so thin that you can actually fit them inside the spice pots. The ones I've got as well are quite bulky. So these are really, really pretty and they're 100% Inox. So I think they are dishwasher safe as well, don't quote me. Yes, they are. So there's one tablespoon, one teaspoon, half teaspoon and quarter teaspoon. And then lastly, I got some syrup for my coffee. This is just classic French vanilla syrup, um, sugar-free, zero calorie. I don't know how they do it, but it's just um, a little splash of syrup in iced coffees Hopefully the one moments are coming. This lasts such a long time, but I actually really like a bit of syrup in my coffee. I don't usually, but that little sweetness I've just really been enjoying. I don't know why my body is craving sugar, but I'm just rolling with it. So yeah, this huge bottle was 4 99 So having this at home makes your coffees feel that like a little bit more premium. And obviously 4 99 there is so much in that. 750 mils, so that's gonna last a while. And then lastly, I. I just forgot these completely. These were on the bottom of the basket. I got a fridge, deodorizer, and some more tissues and home bargains as well. Not particularly exciting. I've never used a fridge deodorizer, but apparently they're really good. Our fridge has a little bit of a whiff when we've got lots of veggies in there, so I thought this would be useful. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. I actually went to a John Lewis press day this morning and they've got some really beautiful new pieces launching this spring, including this cushion design. How Beautiful as that, so it's got a lovely wavy scalloped edge, and I went for it in the white trim, which is it's just so squidgy and lovely. And I actually got it embroidered with my initials, so I got LC in the top in red. How beautiful is that? It's such a beautiful design, and I think that looks really, really nice. It's quite a similar colour to our sofa, but I got this because I didn't want to go for a colour. They will come in different colours and I think by the time this video goes live, they might be live on John Lewis, so I'll link these down below. But it's really squidgy and just soft and lovely. And um, so yeah, I'm very pleased with this indeed. So I'm gonna style all these pieces now, so get ready for a lovely little silky montage. Mm -hmm. 